All right, guys, it's official. We got permission to put in a garden. And we're gonna do it right in this little spot on our side yard. Our house is here. And here's our backyard. We have plenty of backyard, but I'm not gonna use the whole space for garden. We still need it for the dogs to run around and just have an open space, but I am gonna put a garden right back here. And I think I'm going to work at getting just this whole space filled up with garden. Uh, it's late afternoon and the sun has gone behind the trees. And as you can see, there's still some patches over there, but what it doesn't get over there is a lot of sun during the day and morning time. It gets a lot of sun over here. So this is gonna be our spot and I'm really excited. So the tools that I have to kind of map out my space are a measuring tape, a little bit of spray paint, um, some string, scissors, and stakes, but I don't have the stakes yet. So what I'm gonna use instead of stakes today are little plant hangers, and I'll show you what they are in a minute. So they are these guys. They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I have exactly four of them because I've used them for other projects, and I won't be using these forever. These are just right now for me to map everything out. Other items that you'll need is cardboard, I am going to go and purchase black plastic or black silage cloth. And that will go over the ground to help kill it. I'll put the cardboard down. I have a whole bunch of manure that I can get from where we go and uh, horseback riding lessons. And um, a lot of that manure is two years old or older, which really makes this project uh, delightful to do because that's already ready. Uh, to put down. I don't have to worry about or wait for it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and measure out the space and see how much of this I can actually use. And then I'll check back in with you. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. I have it mapped out. I wanted to show you what I'm doing today. This is kind of step two, three, four, whatever it is, in our garden here on our rental property. We went and borrowed a truck. We drove over to the stables, got the um, aged manure, and then we are now putting pine straw down on our cardboard and I wanted to show you kind of our progress and where we're at with all of this so I'm going to flip the camera around just kind of show you what we're doing sorry about the shadows and the sun it's I can't help it so this was our very sweet friends who let us borrow their truck in there is some amazing dirt and it's no longer manure anymore it is now dirt and it's rich and it's got worms in it and all kinds of stuff so we're, I'm so excited because there's more where it came from in case I don't have enough and um, this is where it's all gonna go and as you can see I've got pine straw leaves and some broken down material already that are going down on top of the cardboard which cardboard acts as a weed barrier and I don't know if you can see in that shadow right there let me get in that shadow we are lacking some cardboard we're gonna get a little bit more today and it's gonna go in that spot and then we'll finish because I'll bet you my project it's gonna take a while to get all of this done with pine straw so Kirk was here helping me but now he's got an appointment at one, at two o'clock so he's leaving and at this point right now I am just getting my pine straw right where I want it we will put I have a bunch underneath these trees we've been collecting just happens to be all over the yard we've got some under those two trees back there and in that corner we've got plenty and it will go a long way. And as long as we keep it moist, it'll continue to break down and turn into lovely soil right here. As you can see, it is just beautifully broken down. The trees near it were enjoying it because these are their roots. And so I'll be sifting through some of that.
plan is to put all this stuff down. I've got all that dirt that's going to sit in it. And then we got something new this year. It's a, it's a seed germination blanket. I've never used one before. I've seen it used. We're going to use them. They came in these big rolls. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to put them down and then plant the, the seeds. Um, you just push a hole in it and you plant the um, start, startlings or seeds or whatever straight in there. And it kind of helps other thing, prevent other things from coming up through. Not that I think I'll have a lot of that this year. If we were here for two, three years, subsequent years, I think this ground would eventually have um, weeds breaking through. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of that because it takes a while for the cardboard to break down. I got a lot of pine straw down and underneath these these rows are start started with pine straw leaves and a lot of it's already decomposing the dirt and then it's going to have this blanket on it then i'm going to take just some of the plain i have over underneath these trees back here um, just plain pine straw that i'm going to put in the walkways so that i'm not walking on just the cardboard and things won't have a tendency hopefully won't break through this summer all right guys Full disclosure, I don't have a wheelbarrow. It's sitting in a shipping container halfway across the world, just on the other side of the US. So, my little pull cart is my only means of getting stuff from over there or over there to over here. We also had to buy a pitchfork today. <laughs> and as far as shovels go, I have a T90 shovel. So, when we start pulling all this stuff out hopefully my husband's not too terribly irritated because I'll be using a very tiny shovel yeah tiny we are back and it's the next day and we are here and as you can see I made my rose I watered them down really good I'm gonna take it out to the garden I think what I'm gonna end up doing I don't know, I haven't decided. I think it's going to be thick enough, but we'll see as I continue to roll. I'm going to go ahead and cut it to fit each row. I only need seven rows, so we'll see if I have enough. Hopefully I do. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. I think this is good in theory. If I had a bigger garden, this would be horribly expensive. This is good in theory. This stuff will break down over time. What won't break down is the plastic that they have it on. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can take that off. If I can, what will happen if it like crumbles and stuff everywhere? That won't break down. And we did really good about taking all the plastic labels stickers, tape off the boxes. So now I've got plastic in this roll. If it works, I think it works for much smaller areas. I don't know that I would use this again. Okay, so it cuts nicely. And once it's cut, I can spread it apart pretty easily, so I don't mind it. But as you can see, there's big holes. We'll see. If I have to double up on this stuff, then this won't be nearly as cost effective as I had hoped it would be. Let's get it on a row. Test it out. Okay, I have more rows to cover. Alright guys, I'm finished for today. I've only got a little bit of time today to do 
We've got four rows covered. And then um, we'll start planting here in a few weeks. But we'll get these other three done probably tomorrow. And uh, every day I'll water it so it'll continue to break down even on these dry days. So uh, I do want to give you like a quick little review. This gardenscape stuff, it's good in theory, but as you can tell, some of it's really, really patchy. If there's another brand out there, give me a shout out. You know, if you know of another brand, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to try it this time. We're going to see how we feel about it. And, uh, I'll keep you posted on growing. In the meantime, blessings to you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.